Stories about seasons, school days, and bedtime await you on Sesame Street today. Let's read. Grover's First Day at School Written by Heather Owl Hello, everybody. It is I, Grover, your cute, furry pal. Off to school, to and fro, I carry my backpack wherever I go. What's in your backpack when you go to school? I count to ten. Bert writes his name. We draw and sing. We play a game. What is your favorite activity at school? I watch and listen so I can learn. Oscar raises his hand to take his turn. What are some other reasons that you might need to wait for your turn at school? I read to Elmo. He reads to me. We make words with A, B, C. Name a word that begins with letter A. What about B? C? Read, write, sing, and play. We learn new things every day. What new thing did you learn at school last year? Zoe's First Book of Seasons Zoe loves spring when everything's new. Baby birds chirp and pink flowers bloom too. Zoe wonders what you like to do in summer. Grover knows summer brings friends full of fun plus beaches and swimming and plenty of sun. In fall, leaves turn colors, red, yellow, and brown. Then cool winds blow and they fall to the ground. What else happens in the fall where you live? What is the other name for the fall season? In winter, Bert and Ernie love to play on their sleds with boots on their feet and hats on their heads. In winter, what is the weather like where you live? What clothes do you wear in the winter? Winter, spring, summer, fall. Which season do you like best of all? Nighty night. When it's time to go to sleep and rest your head, do you sometimes need your favorite toy to snuggle with in bed? Elmo has a bunny who helps him get to sleep. The bunny's soft and comfy and never makes a peep. When it's time for bed, Big Bird can sleep almost anywhere, as long as he always has his favorite teddy bear. Bert snuggles with his blankie, oh so very tight. It keeps him safe and warm all throughout the night. Now it's time for you to say nighty night. What will you snuggle with as we turn out the light? If you made it to the end, you're definitely not sleeping yet. I hope you enjoyed those stories. As always, until next time, happy reading.